CTE Pro One Banking Series Video 2. I'm going to be doing things just a little bit differently in this video and several videos to follow in that it's going to be a very quick look at a single setup and I'm going to uh, associate the setup with a particular stroke and a particular way that I suggest for you to hold the cue. The cue ball object ball setup is as follows. The cue ball is one third of a diamond down from this intersection. It's right by the foot spot. And the object ball is set up to be a dead bank. And the object ball is very near to the uh, corner of the rack that I have drawn on my table. So this is essentially a dead shot to this pocket. I could use the left edge of the cue ball to aim if I sense that there's a left cut. I can use the right edge if I perceive that there's a little bit of a right cut. If I see the shot as being dead on, I can use either edge of the cue ball for aiming. And if I were to choose the wrong edge, as a result of there being an imperceptible cut there that I wasn't able to see, then in CTE, just as for straight ends, for dead banks, the shot will straighten itself out, regardless of the aiming edge that you choose. The stroke that we're going to look at is a punch stroke. The structure of a punch stroke is one in that uh, can be described as having a very short backswing uh, and a reasonably short follow through. The tip position is typically very near to the core, although it can be above the core, below the core, or even set to have a little bit of uh, side spin uh, on the particular for the particular shot. So I'm going to be using disguise pivoting. Now, usually a punch shot is shot a little bit from mine. I'm on a diamond tape. When you pick up the speed a little bit for banking, the shot can shorten up a little bit. So when I gear the cue ball and the object ball together for my alignment, this is going to be a 15 degree perception. I may gear the ball in such a way that it will diminish the sight line so that the shot is ever so slightly thinner to accommodate the increased speed for the punch shot. Okay, I'm just going to shoot a couple of these so you can uh, rewind and, and, and check it out as many times as you'd like. So I'm just going to set up. With that, I've got a cradled grip, slightly with a slightly increased grip pressure. So there's the slight diminishment of the sight line. It's going to be a short backswing and a short follow through. I don't know if diminishment is a word or not. But anyway, diminish means to thin the sight line. So, once again, I pick this up as being a little bit of a right cut, so I'm going to use the right edge of the cue ball. So this time my head's going to go to the right for this disguise pivot. So I'm going to gear the cue ball object ball relation to be slightly thin to what would occur otherwise for a dead 15 degree perception uh, with a step center. So it's going to be a short backswing and a short follow through. Okay, one more. Cradle cue, short back swing, short.
short follow through. That type of stroke allows me to strike the cue ball. My intentions are to only lead the tip in contact with the cue ball for as brief of a moment as possible. Let's call it one thousandth of a second. Thus, I have this cradle cue and I'm firming up my grip just a little bit so that I do not have any wrist movement. I want to eliminate all wrist movement as possible. What I want to guard against, and that's easy to do because I know what I'm doing with my stroke, I want to guard against a release, and that will be for another video. So I want to minimize this wrist movement because I do not want any unintentional spin to be imparted as a result of uh, allowing my wrist to release. Punch shot is one of the most under-taught shots in the game of pool. Not just for bank, but for shooting shots uh, directly into the pocket. An exercise that you can do to really build your banking game is to take a cue ball and an object ball and just set shots up around the table to where you perceive the shot as being dead. Cross sides, cross corners, long rail banks, and just set it up and shoot a and shoot a punch shot. So you can even put 15 balls on the table, take cue ball in hand, move around the table, and start firming up some punch shots. Keep in mind, short backswing, short follow through, strike the ball, do not drive your tip through the ball. That's another shot, we'll discuss it in another video. Protect your wrist from having a release as it goes through the position of the cue ball so that you can avoid unintentional spin. When you're working with a punch shot and you're adding some speed to that ball, you can shorten the shot up and miss the shot. So you might have to thin the sight line, diminish the sight line, so that you're allowing for the shortening of the object ball that can occur during its uh, uh, bank across the table. Okay, that's the end of the video too. Short and sweet, but something that you can use to really build uh, uh, your skill for banking balls. Thank you.